All right, guys, we are going to do another little project on the 2017 Ultra Classic that we've converted into more of a street glide. So today we're gonna do the black cowbells and we'll probably do the uh, appliance epoxied lower fork tubes, kind of like we did on the uh, blue bagger. They turned out really good actually, like super good. So it's appliance epoxy with like a base coat of high heat oven paint. That worked the best to adhere to the uh, um, initial. And then we did a gloss appliance epoxy over top of them. And uh, it turned out really good. Like you can't even tell they're not powder coated. And then I think we also put a, uh, a clear coat over it. So we're gonna do that as well. So we'll do the black lowers and the black cowbells. Cause in, the, these forks are in great shape and in order to get them powder coated black down there, you gotta take the entire things apart and they don't need service. It's only got like 25,000 miles on them. So we're not, we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna do this section here. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take the front fender off. All right, we're gonna start by taking the uh, fender off. It's a quarter inch Allen. There's four of them on each side, so get to taking these off. There's uh the inside of the fender has a nut welded to it, so you don't have to hold it or anything. You just loosen all four of these nuts, these bolts I mean, all four of these Allen bolts, and then we'll take the fender off. We can uh, gently maneuver it out. All right, fender's out. Set the fender aside on a towel or something. Turn it outside so it's not getting scratched. All right, we got the front fender off there. Now we got to. Uh, 15 16th loosen the axle nut all right that's loose now you gotta come over here and with a uh let's see here number six that's good allen in there we're just gonna loosen this pinch bolt because if we don't loosen that pinch bolt you can't slide the axle out. All right. All right. Now we got all that loose, so the axle could come out right now, but we want to take these, uh, calipers off we're gonna let them hang these are uh 10 millimeter i believe 16 point uh, or whatever 16 12 I'll, I'll show you the socket i'll go get that yep is uh 10 millimeter so goes on there and we'll get all these loose so Repeat on this side. Caliber off. Yep, might need some pads here soon. All right. Now we can take the uh, front axle out and pull the wheel. All right, then when the spacers come out, I like to put them back on the axle the way they came out so that you don't, uh, there's actually only one spacer on this side because this other side here, 
I'll show you in a second. This other side here, it just uses the uh, ABS sensor as a spacer. So they can let that hang too. And then we got everything loose now. So now we can uh, start loosening up our Allen bolts in the back here that I mentioned for the, you can slide each fork tube individually out through here. So now we're taking out, I took an Allen out, out of there because we have to get uh, we have to get up in here. We got another Allen right up in there. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyways, there's an Allen there. You might be able to see it better on this side. We got this Allen here and then the other one up in there where my thumb is. We're taking those out now. We get this off and then those bottom two loosened. So then we can start getting that and then we'll move up to this top Allen. Uh, right up here. We'll loosen that one too. And then this fork tube should just slide right out. So let's get to it. And then we'll loosen the top one. There she comes. All right. There's the fork tube completely out. Set that aside. So it looks like with the tube out. Well, then we'll just repeat the same on the other side now. All right, there's that one out too. Now the only thing that mine has the inspection sticker on there, so I'm gonna have to peel this one off that and uh, put it on the new cowbells. So there's the whole front end of the bike off. So the new black ones. So instead of chrome, we'll have black. These are eight millimeter that holds those cowbells on there. So I take those out now. We're gonna prep these, these fork tubes. So it's easiest to prep them, to put them in the, we'll slide them back up into these trees a little bit so that it'll hold them for us to an extent. So I'm just gonna tighten the one bolt, the one Allen bolt, and then it'll hold the, uh, Hold the tube in place for us so that we can. Uh, we're gonna scuff them. We have to scuff them up pretty good so that the paint will adhere to them. It'll just help the epoxy and everything. Uh, just enough to hold them in place. That way you don't gotta work on the bench with it. Just makes it a little easier, in my opinion. Just tightening the bolt here to cinch this. All right. Okay, so now we got the, the tubes are just in there now. We take some scuffing paper. We'll scuff these all up. I'm gonna take some, some contact cleaner and just clean off some of the brake dust and stuff that we got on here. All right, then you wanna take some like scuff paper of some sort and just hit hit the whole entire surface of the fork tubes. It's gonna mess them up, so don't be worried, but you're painting them anyway, so it's not a big deal. This is just gonna help uh, the adhering process of uh, the paint. All scuffed you see the difference so then we're gonna repeat on this side all right now we got a back lay drop on so the paint doesn't get on anything behind the tubes 
we're gonna put some painters tape around the actual tubes themselves so they don't get any uh, paint on those. And we're gonna put the first coat of the high temp heat on these. All right, we got that all taped off. Now we can get our first coat of black on. This is what we're gonna use for the first coat. It likes to stick better, so that's what we'll start with. All right, let's get to it. You don't have to get that much up in here because the, when the tubes are up there, the cow bells kind of hide part of the top. But just because you don't want to get a lot of stuff up into that top there. Go light the first couple coats so you don't get a lot of fish eyes, which fish eyes are where the paint doesn't stick, if you didn't know. This is a uh, matte black, so when it dries, it's more like of a matte like that. So we'll end up doing the gloss over top of this base coat here. This is just a really good coat. This is a really good paint to start with the, uh, the first coat, in my opinion. So. And you want to make sure you turn the wheel and get uh, all the spots in the back sections there. All right. We got our base coat down there on both of those tubes with the high heat mat. Let that dry and then we're gonna hit it with the gloss black. All right, we're gonna hit it with the uh, gloss now. We're gonna use this stuff actually. It's a rust barrier. So you can paint over any bare metal or anything. It seals, it's impact resistant and it's flexible rubberized finish. So it's good for the forks because you know, they get a lot of road debris that hits them. So. We're gonna hit the hit them with this now. The uh, gloss coat on. They're looking real good. So, see, there's the back sections. You gotta make sure you just keep turning the wheel side to side, get all the good spots that you can't really, you don't think of, you know, like all underneath and that. So, there's where we're at now. So, we're gonna hit it with the. Uh, Clear coat now, we're gonna use Wheel Gloss Clear Coat. It's a, uh, it's pretty strong. So, I mean, that, that gloss is strong. So this, this on top of it, will just give it that extra protection from road debris and stuff. So we'll hit it with the gloss now, clear coat. Clear coat, and we got the gloss black, it's all done there. 
Now we're just gonna let it dry and we'll probably come back tomorrow or something and uh, take the tape off, finished product. Pretty damn good. These are powder coated, so you really can't even tell the difference. Like, it's great. It's, it's a really cheap, easy way to do things. I'm telling you, it's worth it. So. Got blacked out, blacked out front end now. I'll post a uh, before and after.